Hello artists, today we're gonna to be making some name art. We're gonna draw out our name and color all around our name to make an amazing picture. All right, to get started, the first thing I wanna do is draw my name really big. I don't wanna write tiny or else it's gonna make this really difficult. So I'm gonna use my black marker and I write my last name, but I'm sure that you all will write your first name. So I'm gonna write E, D, E, L. M A N. All right, so the first thing I want to do is choose another color, and I'm going to go around the outside of my name with one color. So I'm going to go around, and I want to make sure I get right up next to the E. So I'm just going to go all the way around with my first color. And you can use any color markers. I know that some of my friends have been getting out highlighter markers and adding those in with their regular colors, and that can look really fun too. And if you're like me and you have letters that are open, you're gonna trace the inside part too. And any white spaces like that, I wanna fill in. So I am tracing all the way around. And you'll see that they start to like touch and that's okay we want that because eventually we'll be going around the whole thing so i am just taking my blue marker and going around my name with this new color so this project will take us a pretty long time to fill our whole page but the end result is just really neat to see all of the colors that you come up with to go around your name all right, going around here. I'm gonna fill that part in. I'm almost done with my first color. All right, and there is my first color. Now you are gonna use your markers and you are just gonna choose different colors to go around. So next, oops, I'm gonna get out my green, I think. I think I'm gonna start with cool colors then to move to my warm colors, but it is up to you how you choose to layer your colors. So now I'm adding my third layer and this is my green. And again, any little white spaces I'm going to cover up and I'm gonna go all the way around my name. And now you can see why I really wanted to make sure I did not write my name tiny. I want it to be nice and big on my page. All right, tracing with my green. Now I can't go through there anymore, so it's gonna just start to go around the edge. So I see that goes down there. In there is gonna be green around the edge. All right. And I'm just making my way all the way around with my green. So like I said, any colors you want, we are just trace, trace, tracing all the way around our name. And these end up looking really, really cool. All right, oh, I wanna fill that part in too. Now I've got, and I need to put my green in there. Now I've got my blue layer, my green layer. I think I'm gonna do a purple layer. And so we're just going to keep going around the name all the way around, adding the colors. Now here's what's nice is now I don't have to go in between because they all kind of smoosh together. So now I'm just going all the way around the outside, all the way down here. And I'm making sure I get, it's nice to turn your paper sometimes to make it easier making sure I get this purple all the way around my name, adding that next layer. Now these start to just look so neat. And this direction. 
you might only use cool colors, you might only use warm colors, or you might use every color on the color wheel. That's gonna be your choice. But we're gonna just go all the way around the name. It's already starting to look so neat. So I can choose a different color. I think I'm gonna go for red. And I can go all the way around. You could have a pattern if you want. The main thing is tracing your name until we get all the way to the edge of the paper. So we turn it. We're gonna go all the way around. All right. starts to look really neat and I don't want to forget that middle section go all the way around with my red that part is all red now and I keep turning and moving until I get all the colors I want so I'm thinking maybe some yellow will be next so again, we're gonna go all the way down and all the way around. Color, 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 those layers. Now this yellow makes it look like it's glowing. I like that. And I'm just gonna go all the way around. And you can use the markers that are in your marker set, or you can grab some highlighter markers or if you have some other fun colors to add in. To make it extra bright. All right. Oh, and I want to get that piece. Oh, that's looking so neat. And choose a different color. I might go for this orange. All the way around. Now it's looking so bright. And I can still see my name. Now I can see all these amazing layers of color and I'm following the lines that I started with to make this really interesting shape. Almost done with this layer and now I'm about halfway done filling up my page. It's looking pretty amazing. And like I said, if you have a different color like I have of this neon blue color if you have some extra colors that aren't in your regular eight pack you could try those too add a little variety oh i like that just kind of going around the edge and adding that other color And these are fun too, because you can make your own name or you can make someone in your family's name. Maybe a parent or a brother or sister. And what a cool gift to give them this amazing name art. All right. I think I'm gonna use this highlighter and see what that looks like. Oh, that is very bright. And I'm just going to go all the way around. It's kind of a little bit thinner of a marker, but it still looks pretty cool. I still want to turn my page a little. Just tracing all the way around that edge. Very nice. And you can continue this in a pattern. You can go back to the first color. You can keep adding more colors. It's gonna be your choice. I think maybe, maybe I'm gonna go back to that original blue. Let's see what that looks like. That looks nice. So again, you just wanna keep coloring your layers of color all the way around your name until you have your whole page filled with these lines. Following that design all the way around. 
Now when you get to the edge of your paper, like right there, I won't be able to put the color all the way at that edge. So then the color is just gonna go on these sides. All right, my name has never looked so cool. Now I can get out that green and go back and work this pattern if I want. All right, and then as I get over here, I go up to the edge. All the way around. I like to push my marker on the side to make a thicker line, but that's your choice of how you want to do it. A thinner line will have a different look, but might take a little bit more time. So we just go over here. All right. Grab that purple marker. And I'm going to slide this right around here. Looking good. Now I've gone and finished this side too. So what that means is now we're just going to be adding that extra layer of color to the top side or the top side and the bottom side and the sides are already filled in completely. So that just kind of changes how you're filling it in a little bit. put the red on the bottom and then I'll add a layer of that red onto the top because I know the sides are already filled in. And this is just a fun way to experiment with our markers in a different way. Experimenting with color. You can be using warm colors, cool colors, you can be using all the colors like I'm trying to do. You can be working with a pattern. I like the way the lines give it a look like my name is just kind of glowing out. I think that's really neat. I have this pink color I thought would look neat, so I'm going to put this pink. And I'm going to add that to it. Just adding that pink all the way along on the bottom, filling in those white spaces, and adding that pink on the top. All right. So I add a little extra color in there. And I think that looks pretty neat. I might put another layer of my highlighter color, that bright, bright yellow, all the way down, all the way around. And I'm doing a lot of paper turning to make it easier for me to make my line look nice and smooth as I go all the way along the side of my name. electric blue color again and I'm really getting closer to having this piece of art finished I'm excited about that and working this side over here getting close to the end we want to get all the white space filled in with color and we are so close to that goal especially on this side I'm almost to the edge of my paper Gonna grab my red and add an 
another layer here. And it's almost done up at the top. I barely have any room to add that extra layer here and adding this extra layer here. Oh my goodness, nice full color page. I'm just kind of picking the colors I want, filling it in. Up, oh, that top piece right there is finished. And it's coming almost to a finish here. I think I'll add some of that regular yellow we did toward the beginning. Add that in here. And over here, oh my gosh, we are almost done and this looks really amazing. So like I said, I did my last name. You could do your first name. You could do somebody else in your family's name and give it as a gift. There's so many different options for you to make the name art that ends up looking so neat. I think I'll add a layer of green here. Oh wow, the top is done. I've got the top all filled in with these wild color stripes. And then I just need to pick some colors for the bottom. I think I'll add a little more purple again here. And that finishes off there. And then just one, oops, I lost the marker. One last color down here for the last stripe and we are finished. So when you are done, you have added a layer of color over and over again, surrounding your name, giving it this amazing look of layers of color that look like they're almost moving and swirling around your name. I can't wait to see yours.